my name is Nick Ferguson. I'm a, I'm a property developer in, in uh, Cape Town. I basically moved here 10 years ago. Um, uh, I'm a chartered accountant. i uh, just give you a brief profit, property developer and accountant. It's quite like unusual that you're going to find a, an accountant here in a, this design sort of uh, um, arena. But it's, it's a privilege for me to, to be involved in it. Uh, um, I started out by a small private equity firm. Myself and a partner, we, uh, I founded a call center called Dialog on the foreshore. Um, myself and a, a, that same partner flew to the States and we bought, a, just as a brief introduction, a mail order business. And with the profits from the mail order business, we plowed it into property and we started buying up property. Um, I did the development of the old biscuit mill. I'm not sure if anyone knows the old biscuit mill in Woodstock, but it's a, it's a development in Woodstock, which I'll get to a little bit later. Um, pioneered the theatre in retail concept, so that essentially tr trying to make an industrial space, uh, uh, create a retail element for an industrial space and bringing creatives into, into a, an area that was previously dilapidated and, and, uh, and degenerated. Um, I'm a partner in Daddy Longlegs Hotel um, and now the Granddaddy, which is an extension of this Daddy brand which we're creating. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit long later. Basically, on the granddaddy, I'm not sure if any of you know of it, but it used to be the Metropole Hotel. We've created the first inner city trailer park. We put a caravan park on the roof of the building. And we've extended the, the hotel upwards, so essentially each caravan has become, a, um, has become a hotel room. And just to give you an example, they are, they're not, they're unique caravans, they're Airstream caravans, which are silver bullet-shaped parrot caravans. Really, really beautiful and unique things. So that's the, uh, and, and again, that's a, that was a collaboration. Both those two hotels are a collaboration of different artists. Okay, so Daddy Longlegs Hotel, to give you a, a little bit of idea about it, what we did is we bought this building uh, probably about five years ago, and we didn't know what to do with it. Um, we had started buying buildings in Upper Long Street, and we bought this building, and we really didn't know what to do with it. We had a self-catering suite up in further up in Long Street, and we decided then to convert this into an art hotel. And what we did is we got, we got 13 different artists, and we gave them carte blanche, we gave them a budget, we gave them budget for their fee, so an artist fee, and a budget for the room. And, um, and we gave them carte blanche to, to do what they wanted. And through this, I mean, you can see we got, we got a few corporates, there's Mentor Suites did one, We've got um, a student, we've got a well-known artist, Fr Francois van Rennen. So that in itself was a cluster, and we'll, get, we'll get, get to that. Before we, just to describe what a cluster is, clusters are ge geographic con concentration of interconnected businesses. And obviously, uh, what we, with Cape Town as a design city, I know that Cape Town previously has tried to, uh, has tried to um, become a film city where people, where people have, would come here for film and it was because of its natural beauty and its and affordability. Um, and obviously, there's been a move, and that's the broader Cape Town. So we're talking about now center of Cape Town. The geographic concentration is actually the central Cape Town, CRD. Um, and that's as a design city. Um, yeah, so... So that's it's a geographic concentration with enough resources and competences. So obviously, we have to look at whether we, th we feel that we've got enough resource. And I'm, I mean, I'm not sure where all of you are from, but I think if you come and you live in Cape Town, you're actually living in Cape Town probably because of the quality of life and because it's just a general overall, that's why I'm living here. It's a general, I have a better quality of life. And, that in itself would probably attract more creative people than Joburg, for instance. Okay, in this particular f case, we wanted to be, we trying to focus on Cape Town being a design cluster. Clusters potential to affect competition. Okay, obviously, by creating a cluster of like businesses, we're obviously increasing the productivity of the, all those businesses um, and, and their ancillary supplies. So if you've got uh, Long Street, or upper end Long Street, which is all the bars, you're creating in increased competition, but you're increase creating increased productivity. And then that productivity is one of the, is one of the benefits of a, of a cluster. 
okay, driving innovation. I mean, you can see around here, you can just see that everyone is, everyone is um, trying to create unique products, trying to be the first in some, some sort of uh, uh, environment, um, trying to be at the cutting edge of, uh, of design. And that's what a cluster will do for you. Um, stimulating new businesses, obviously, if, if a cluster develops, it will be, you will find other businesses in, in like businesses trying to move into that cluster and stimulating new businesses. Examples of, of clusters, successful clusters, international clusters, Bangalore and India, India utilized the cluster effect in order to convince a number of high tech companies to set up there. So high tech companies, Bangalore. Las Vegas, obviously gambling. People know Las Vegas, they say, you say Las Vegas, it's gambling. Uh, Silicon Valley is for computer technology. Uh, Paris Haute Couture, Toulouse in France, aerospace, um, that's all you, you, people know about that, Hollywood movie production. And obviously Cape Town is going to try to be known as a design city. Daddy Longlegs Art Hotel, again, what we said, it was 13 different rooms, each decorated by individual artists. And at the time when we did that, we, uh, part of the success was well, obviously we had people with a vested interest. So we had 13 different artists who were each proud of their rooms and proud of what they've contributed and each wanted to market themselves independently. But joined together, they like created a, a, like a movement going forward. And that, that having, having people with a vested interest in the overall success of the product, product makes it just a lot easier. Um, so, yeah, so again, sub, subcategory of the zoning schemes I'm talking about, which I think could work is that you, if you, you have the areas which are zoned general business and it's a, such a broad, broad uh, environment to, to sort of develop in, but if you, if you had to have subcategories in the zoning scheme, so you would say that's general business and that's general business for design or that's general business for whatever. That's, those are the, the feelings that I, the council could add to Ancillary businesses, obviously, again, in Long Street, when, when you look at design, you, you obviously see all the designers outside, but you've got to remember that there's the ancillary businesses that are actually part of it. Like the theater, there was the restaurant and the bar and the tea shop that are obviously primary parts of it. Um, that's, that's it. So there's a, another picture of the hotel. Um, Far From Home, which is an environment where you did wallpapers around the room and you sit on there and you feel like you're having a picnic. You can look around and this is a photographer. When we did artists here, we did like broad array of artists. So here was a photographer. He took pictures. He took, I think, on each wall there's two, two portraits of his, of his family, his father and his mother. And when you, when you stand in there, you actually can't see his, his father or mother. But if you put a, put a, a a, a lens onto it, you can see the picture. So again, the, the sum of all of these little pictures actually creates another picture. Uh, that was Freshly Ground, who did the band who came, they did a room, and Tracy Lynch, who then curated the granddaddy. There's a picture of the Airstreams going up onto the roof, and uh, that's the Airstream Park. So if, if any of you want to go up and have a look, feel, feel welcome. You can just mention my name at granddaddy and uh, go and see a caravan park on the roof. And it's it's actually quite bizarre that, that before me, Mariette, Mariette from uh, Cape Town Tourism spoke, and after, and after me, we've got um, the Lurie Awards. And the Lurie Awards have actually moved from Margate to Cape Town, and they're host, being hosted, the, the um, registration process, and the, the hotel for the, the Luries is actually the granddaddy. And last night, Mariette was there with Cape Town Tourism, the big thing, and they had a big table out here. So it's, it is quite a small world. 